Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we're talking about Sheree, Drew Sedora, and Ralph Pittman, okay? <laughs> it seemed like everybody wanted to get in somebody's ass, but it wasn't the women, okay? It was not the women who were getting paid to be on this reality TV show. Honey, Ralph was so sick and tired of Sheree just being in the media trying to paint a picture of a person that he is not and he didn't mince no type of words with her okay he gave her nothing but facts from his mouth to her ears they was fussing talking about uh you made or you insinuated that i was gay you were keeping the lie up that anthony that's him started a lie on me and instead of you shedding the shit down you pretty much okayed it you you kept it going and you know for a fact that i am not gay and sure said oh i don't know that <laughs> she said i don't really believe that you are but i don't know that for a fact <laughs> like double-minded ass sheree double-minded ass sheree she by nobody and she don't pay okay I like oh, get it get get her Ralph get her she had no business insinuating anything and and going around telling people that lie okay it is a lie right ain't it Ralph it is a lie right okay right. it's a right okay all right Ralph we got you we on deck with you yes because you do look like manly man and this Anthony going around from what Drew said now he's just trying to get TV time he's just trying to do what he need to do but both you and Sheree listening to this clown. Like it ain't nobody's business. Anything, you should have kept the war going on between you, Sheree, and Fatoum, okay? Because we needed Fatoum on the, on the show, but you, you got rid of her because she had no business putting her hands on your purse or private things unless she was taking it to a, one of the, uh, what do you call it, the set people saying, well, I'm finna go. I didn't want nobody to take her purse, but this is her purse. Make sure she can get it back and tell her. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? That could have been a little cute thing. If a tomb could have still been on the damn show. But nope, she took the purse and, you know, wanted Sheree to do something with it or go through it or whatever. And she, dumbass Sheree had enough sense not to go in that lady's purse. So that was a good thing for Sheree as, or she would have been out as well. Okay? And then we probably would have had room for Portia. She wanted to come by. Oh, let's not talk about it. Let's not even put that in the atmosphere. No, we don't want Portia back. <laughs> so let's all just stop thinking about it. Pray on it and, and make it do what it do. Now, she is supposed to come back. Then, you know, maybe it's God's will, you know. Or it could be Satan's will. We don't know because Portia been moving funny in these streets as well, okay. Man, well, damn, sure don't want to see for all the time. But let, wait, this, this video is not about them. It's all about Sheree, Ralph, and uh, Drew Sador. And the assistant that's causing all the bullshit, okay. I'm like, he told you a lie. He told you a lie. Meaning both women's. So wouldn't it be a, a good truce y'all should call against each other and say, well, he just fucked us up. He got us thinking, it, you know, in and every kind of way. And, you know, it's not even that. And just give y'all stuff an olive branch and move on, honey. Because Brian was like, he went here and that shit. He said, don't be putting no uh, homosexual thing on my name. Oh, no, 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 no. But I do have the clip. Yes, I do. I have the audio. So we can let you all understand what I'm trying to put to y'all's ears. Okay? So y'all can understand a little better. But I think with me having the audio, it may put the pieces a little bit better to, to everyone. Okay? So let me see where I am at with that. I just don't had it. My, 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 my. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Step the one. Step the one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Y'all remember Sunshine and KC and the Sunshine Band? Yes, KC and the Sunshine Band. Come on now. Where's the thing at? My phone's buffering, y'all. It be like that sometimes. Be like that. Okay, here we go. How did you feel watching the season and hearing some of the things that Sheree uh, said about you in her confessionals? Were you upset? Oh, 100%. What is that? Anything in particular? First, you carry around that I'm gay. Which well, you I know for a fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what you know for a fact suspect. is not true. How would I know that for a fact? No, I don't know that for a fact. I, I don't believe like that you're gay, but I don't know that for a fact. Let's hear that one more time. for a fact is not true. How would I know that for a fact? I don't know that for a fact. I don't believe that you're gay, but I don't know that for a fact. The reality of it is, is there's nothing that can substantiate that at all. I've given you the utmost respect. I give you respect I expect well, you to I give me it. the same respect in return and not be talking about me because at the your end of the day... Your assistant said it. it. No, no, no. Your but you're carrying said it. the message on and it's not cool. Your I'm just wife telling carried you, messages on I'm too. Just telling and it's you, not cool. That you don't pay people? This, is, pay this people. is between you and my wife. Sheree, do you regret saying anything about Ralph in your... What all did I say about Ralph? You said something about a dildo. Did this bitch throw Ralph's dildo at tune? Oh, yeah, I do apologize for that. Oh, you oh, do now? I apologize okay. for right. that. So you oh, said some things. I apologize oh. for that. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a uh, funny shade for me. I don't understand it's why a... Sheree is using it as a because slur to hurt you. It was your assistant. You, you, you kept, keep, you kept your name. assistant around. You kept your assistant around. I'm just so saying. So don't pick and choose, but you're hey, going to believe from Anthony. Listen, Sheree. If you're not going to believe everything, then don't pick and choose. I've given you respect. I'm just expecting you to give me the same respect also. If your assistant is saying things, you can't believe no on the sh** saying about he me. Said I it. believe the shit he's saying about you too. Sure. He's saying speaking. things about everybody. Um, weird. Weirdo behavior. How did you feel watching the season and hearing some of Let's the things that, that Sheree uh, said about you in her confessionals? Were you upset? Oh, 100%. What is like that? It was Anything in particular? First, you carry around that I'm gay. Which well, you I know guess for a fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you know for a assistant? fact is not true. How would I know that for a fact? I don't know that for a fact. I don't believe that you're gay, but I don't know that for a fact. What you know for a fact is not true. How would I know that for a fact? I don't know that for a fact. I, I don't like believe that you're gay, but I don't know that for a the, fact. The reality of it is, is there's nothing that can substantiate that at all. I've given you the utmost respect. I, give you respect I expect well, you to I give me it. the same respect in return and not be talking about me because at the your end of the day... Your assistant said it. it. No, no, no. Your but assistant you're carrying said it. the message on and it's not cool. Your wife carrying you, messages on I'm too. I'm just telling you. Cool. That you don't pay people? This, don't is, pay this people. is between you and my wife. Sheree, do you regret saying anything about Ralph in your... What all did I say about Ralph? You said something about a dildo. Did this bitch throw Ralph's dildo if a tune? Oh, yeah, I do apologize for that. Oh, you oh, do now? I apologize okay. for right. that. So you said some oh, things. I apologize oh, for that. Right. Okay. That was a funny shade for me. I don't understand it's why a... Sheree is using it as a because slur to hurt you. It was your assistant. But you're you using it to hurt you. You, you, you kept, keep, you kept your assistant around. But I'm just so saying. Don't pick and choose, but you're hey, going to believe from Anthony. Sheree, if you're you not going to believe everything, then don't pick. You can carry that and just I've given you respect. I'm just expecting you to give me the same respect also If your assistant is saying things, you can't believe on any of the Saying that about me, said I it. believe the he's saying about you too. Sure. He's saying Speaking. things about everybody. It's um, weird, weirdo behavior. How did you feel? Okay, and as y'all can see, Ralph was a little bit too heated for uh, anyone's pleasure. Uh, he kind of had the same atmosphere and the same aggressiveness that uh Aaron had towards Kenya you know but he his was like more so angrily mad he didn't cuss he didn't you know go out his composure but you can tell he was really hurt that you know Sheree would say something like that or keep it going or you know be telling everybody else that she that would listen to her about the gay rumors on Ralph so and, you know, I'm, I, I can't say, you know, just a little bit now. <coughs> Sheree is right. Uh, y'all kept that man in y'all lives, okay? Because if one lie was being told, then you can expect several other lies to follow. So, if Anthony was telling her one story 
Anthony was telling Drew another story. It's plausible that he's just a shit starter. He's the bullshitter. And what should have happened was y'all should have got up with, uh, not Ralph, but y'all should have got up with Anthony, okay, and have a non-biased party with you all, maybe Kenya or Candy, and listen to what he had to say. And then you would have had some backup. Or oh, no, this is what Anthony said. You know, like Fatoon was coming. Uh, saying what she had heard of Anthony saying something. So that was the Achilles heel that was really shading both you, Sheree, and Ralph. Because, you know, Ralph, right? You hear some shit like that. You come tell his wife, which is Drew. And then forget it. You know, don't, don't share it with nobody else. Just forget it, you know? And then you'll know how to deal with the assistant when you see him again or you might want to call him you know and tell him over the telephone you know it really doesn't matter how the information got bestowed back to him just let him know that hey his service are no longer needed because you want to accept or put up with that type of slander out there because it could you know hurt your business or whatever uh if some people just didn't like gay people you know uh because we do have those people out there that's gonna not like uh, gay people that's not gonna like black people that's not gonna like how a person looks uh, or don't look so it, it's it's a strange world we live in but i understand um uh, ralph he's a heterosexual man he don't want nothing coming towards his door nothing coming in his face talking about he's something else than what he already stated he was which is a heter heterosexual male so, yes, okay, I, hey, hey, I just had to get it to you, because, you know, sometimes y'all might not be leaving my shit, and I'll be like, wait a minute now, I heard this shit for real, I ain't just making this shit up in my head. So, we got both sides, and it seems like, yes, Ralph um, put Sheree in her place, even though Sheree wasn't trying to hear him, even though Sheree was trying to overtalk him, even though Sheree was trying to say, well, uh, he lied on me, he lied on you, he lied on all of us. And I'm like, Sheree, that's not a clear, concise answer, okay? You needed to own up what you did. If you were around there spreading a rumor that you heard, because you don't know for a fact that the man is or isn't. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that how uh, both men handled it. But like I said, I had guitar, the MVP player award for the reunion season. Because he showed <laughs> He got Marlo sold up. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.